Hello, everybody, and welcome to a new Let's Play that I'll be doing on my channel, I suppose. And this time, I'm going to be playing Pulse. It is a game by Team PixelPie. I can't really seem to find their Twitter account right now, so if you are interested in the game, check out TeamPixelPie.com. It's T E A M P I X E L P I E.com. They have a Facebook page, though, so you can check that out. Anyways, so I found this game. I think, actually I think it's through Reddit, maybe, I don't know. Anyways, super great, super fun. What it is, is a first person game, like first person perspective, but you play as a blind girl. And so when I was young, I lost my sight and my ancestral rite of passage was denied. My little brother had to go in my place. Tahu. Not sure what that means. Has not yet returned. I guess that's her brother. Okay. Neat. So, this was made on the Unity engine, which I guess I seem to be running into that a lot lately. But, as we can see here, I can't really see too much unless I make some sounds or sound happens to go on, go on in the background. So, you can see by my footsteps, I can kind of get a few ideas what's going on is when I run into these leaves or run over top of them it has a larger field of view because obviously I'm making more sound by walking on leaves as opposed to rocks but if I ever find myself kind of lost in a dark situation what I tend to do is just jump up in the air and I can see my immediate surroundings I suppose so we are moving right on up through this little elevator thing and I should mention that I talked about this game a little bit on the podcast, Saving Progress podcast, so if you haven't checked that out, definitely give that a listen to, but because this will just kind of, you know, reinstate what my opinions are of, of this game, and I really liked it a lot, so really looking forward to, you know, going through this and seeing what's all up, so, oh, hold on, oh god, what's, oh, I think that's just the end of the level, okay, <laughs> so there's not too much of a distinction between the end of the level and you just kind of happen to go somewhere and then you'll stop moving. That little ghost thing that was just kind of over there, I think that's my brother who I'm supposed to be kind of chasing towards. Here are these little weird furry creatures that happen to help me out and how they help me out is this. I throw them and they hit something and I can kind of see the way. But the weird thing is, is they, they love abuse, and what I mean by that is they keep coming back, even after I throw them. But, you know, I guess that's, that's, I mean, I have no problem with that. So what I did there is throw one in this little hamster wheel, which moves some things around and makes some nice noise for us to be able to see. Gong up there allows me to see a greater distance, and so this is, I forget what the actual... Um, terminology is called, but it's supposed to be based off of you know real world thing where uh, it's pretty much like an echo or a, what is it sonar in which noise will bounce off of things, and in doing so, I'm able to pretty much see the surroundings because you know what that is going from. So I'm going to sprint across this bridge because when I can't. Well, when I'm not sprinting, you can't see anything, or, you know, what's going on with that, and so it kind of goes back up and into its regular state of not being able to see. So that's cool. Whatevs. So, moving right along, there's going to be another bridge here that I have to sprint across. When I first played through this game, I had a little bit of trouble, especially when I get to the end. Oh, God, don't get... Oh, got murdered. But... Death really isn't too much of an issue in this game. As you can see, I died, respawned pretty much right where I was. So hopefully I'll be able to survive this time, running across, get my little furry buddy, and right in through that crusher that I lived. Fantastic. So throw these little guys, collect, oh, this is actually gonna be the end of the level right here. So I really do enjoy this game. It's a really great perspective that you don't really see too many games. I mean, one, it is a kind of a disability that people kind of have and like they go through, you know, being blind. But this gives you a little bit of a perspective. Obviously, it's not a simulation to being blind or, you know, how they can see things, but a little bit of an insight or appreciation to 
how some people live their lives and how, you know, reliant on sight that we are. And if you are blind, then I guess I apologize for being kind of, uh, what is the word? I don't know. Never mind. Just disregard what I say anyways. But anyways, really unique perspective, perspective on the game and how it, you know, you don't get this really, I don't know, there's not too many games out there that allow you to play blind or have this kind of a visual aspect to it as well. And so, you know, there, you're, there's normally when you're going through a game, oh gosh, something bad's going to happen here. Okay, so here's the enemy in the game, and he's kind of a consistent asshole throughout. Oh god, is he going to murder me right now? Go away. He's like right on top of me, eating my little furry buddies being all angry okay so don't come back here he's gonna walk away hopefully you guys can make out a little bit of what's going on here there's a gong I'm gonna throw that neat so he's going to go over there hang out for me I'm not sure what I'm gonna do maybe okay I'm just gonna throw him hopefully something will happen and I'm not gonna die and not so sure about that right now. I'm just going to be booking it towards these guys' general directions. Hey guys. Oh. Found a piece of Tohu's necklace. I found one of these on my original playthrough. I'm not sure. I mean, it, I guess you don't need to collect them. They're just little kind of pieces or collectibles hidden throughout the game. So, I'm not sure. Okay. The game got kind of frozen on that screen for a hot second there, but it looks to be back to normal this demon creature is still hanging out making a mess of absolutely everything so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna throw my little buddy over there hopefully he doesn't die but if he does you know I take full responsibility for that didn't really mean to jump down here but as long as I'm down here I might as well head for this bridge don't think I've crossed here before, so something that... Oh, gosh, I'm falling. Oh, okay, I lived. Neat. All right. Hey, little dudes, come down here. What's going on? Let's all be friends. What are your little furry hamster things? You're cute. Look at your eyes all big and just want to take you home and, you know, I don't know, cuddle. In a non-sexual way, of course. I would never cuddle with small hamsters unless they asked for it. Okay, there's my... <laughs> I'm such a weird dude sometimes. Okay, there's my my bro, at least I think that's my bro, who I love dearly, but he has been lost and no idea where he went to. Okay, so little firefly things. Neat, I suppose. Fans. Big things. All right. I'm just gonna keep on trucking here. Pick up some more little buddies. Like, oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. It's all tired, sleeping. Looks at all cute. Okay. Hey, big guy. What's up? Hold a right mouse button, or left mouse button to push. I'm not gonna push, I'm gonna pull. Alright. Hmm. Let's go. Hey, I like your ears. They're floppy. I'm gonna call you Floppy. You're gonna be big flops. And the other one, oh, you're red. Flops is red. And you guys can be little flops. So let's go, flops. My flop eyes. Floppies. Flopsies. Flop maniacs. Flop maniacs. I like that. Okay. Regardless, I will continue on. When I see these orange lights, that's how I know this creature is around and he's mad. And when the screen starts getting red, he is super mad and most likely chasing me. So I can see where he's at right now. I'm going to make a sprint right across from me into underneath this little gear assortment place. So I made it through there just fine. I need... Here's another one of these platformy things. That's going to allow me to see a little bit. Oh, there's a... Okay. So where that guy is right now, I'm not sure if you guys can see, but there's a door thing that opens and closes. It seems to be open right now. When I step on this, is that closed? No. 
Oh, it's, a, it's time sensitive, I think, perhaps. So we are going to find... Oh, there's Big Flops over there. So we're going to run to Big Flops. And we are going to kind of wake him up from his slumber. I'm very sorry. But I need your big weight over here. A-S-A-P. So, you know, I'm just going to roll you along. You know, not a big deal. Okay. Wait, angry thing is coming. So I'm gonna wait. hopefully I'm really hoping that you guys can see some of these visuals. I am a little bit used to it once or because one I played through the game, you know, and once you do that, you kind of get a feel for how everything works and how the sound works in regard to you know how the game is played and how you can see and it took me a little while to get used to it, especially when I was playing. So at least I I would not want to do this. I wouldn't feel comfortable doing this game as a blind run just because there's so many things that can happen. And, you know, it took me a kind of a long time to get the game, you know, get a get a good feel for it, I suppose would be the best way to describe it. But anyways, oh god, something bad's gonna happen. Okay, go to here. Good. Alright. And I think that little chime dingy ding ding means that I complete the level, or I did something good. So it happens every once in a while. It hasn't been there every level, but I don't know. When you figure something out, it makes that little chime noise, which makes me a little bit happy. Because, uh, you know, it, it, it re reinforces that I'm not a complete idiot all the time. Sometimes, yes, of course, and that will be the first to admit. But not all the time. So, moving on up. And jump down to different platforms. What's up, little flops? Collect all you sweet little dudes. Oh no! Okay, whoa, that was close. I thought I was gonna die there. How far away? Not too bad. I can make that jump fairly simply. So the game doesn't. It's it's not a hindrance that you're blind, really. The game makes sure that you can see enough to, you know, get a feel for what's going on, or you never feel like you're really lost and alone and, you know, just kind of SOL, which is awesome. And so the game's always just, it's, I don't ever feel like I got stuck, you know, because like a puzzle was too hard, or I got stuck because I didn't know what was going on. It was pretty much just me, you know, just figuring out, you know, some of the mechanics of the game to help me out. Here is a part that took me a little bit of time to wrap my head around when I was first playing. And not really that, it's just that it took me a while to kind of... You know, you'll see, you'll see. Okay, so when I get up here, I'm gonna smash these gongs. And that's going to allow me to see a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chuck my little furry friend down there and try my best to hit that little... Oh, uh, there's, a, there's a switch on the wall that I'm going to try to press by just throwing these guys down there. Nope, I missed. That's okay. I'll just throw another one. Maybe I'll hit that one. Nope. Okay. So I go back down. And I will collect one of these dudes again, my little little flop friends. And back up. What are you doing down there? How'd you get there? Little weird flops, okay. Not too much of a problem. And so Oh no 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 Oh shoot. That's not good. That is the opposite of good. That is terrible. Oh, alright. I survived the time being, and I got some more flops, so great. Now I just need to really work on my aiming, just take a little bit more time to line up my shots. Oh, here. That did... Oh, okay, that messes with the bridge. Does that stay the same? I hope. Not entirely sure. It's kind of disappointing that I missed that in the first place, but that's alright. Trying to take these little guys with me so I can see where I will be throwing them at. That guy just kind of fell off the edge of the world. 
So, is that gonna make it? No. A little bit higher. A little bit higher. And I missed all of them. Damn it. Get up here. What's up, guys? Hmm. Very interesting. Let's see here. I feel like an idiot. Okay. I'm just gonna run for it. Just gonna, just gonna go. Just gonna go. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> well, I opened the bridge. Maybe that is just the first part of the bridge that opens up, and I need to really kind of maybe there shouldn't be too difficult to run out there and just attempt to throw this little fellow right in front of it. There we go. Okay, so running back <laughs> before I get eaten alive and murdered in the worst ways possible and without getting stuck. There we go. Neat. Alright. So, you guys are following me. Awesome. So now that I press that button, this little guy, or big, I don't know, gear thing, is lit up a little bit so I can see where that is. I believe that will stay lit as well. So I'm gonna throw you. I'm gonna miss. Aim up a little higher. Oh! There we go. Oh, great. Finally. So that thing is still needing some help. Let's try to get the last one. Missed. Just barely though. Hmm. Little flops are bouncing all over the place. They want my attention. Come on, buddies. Let's hang out. And you probably the one I guess respawned after you got brutally eaten alive. Which I apologize for. But Apparently he respawned, or at least your brother responded, or you are the brother of the one that got eaten, or something. Family, sure, whatever. Okay, so let's try this again. You guys are falling here, right? Okay, good. No, throw it. Let's just do it there. And seems to miss. Let's do that. And one more attempt. There we go. Awesome. Okay, I think that's all of them, so I'm just gonna run for my life. Can't see what's going on, so I'll be jumping. Hopefully I'm not missing anything. Don't think so. Can't see much. Jumping wrong. Okay, I beat the level. As you can see by the little cog thing in the right hand corner. I should say that um, a little bit about Team Pixel Pie. I think they're from Vancouver Film School in the video game development department. And so they made this game, you know, all through there. So it's a bunch of students. So that's really awesome that they came together and made this really beautiful game that, uh, you know, serves as entertainment for me and you guys. So follow your dreams, make some video games, be part of a great crew that does that. So down here, I press this button. This gate opens up. So I'm just gonna run for it as soon as it reaches the top. So let's go. Running, 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 running. Hopefully, I think I can make it. Yeah, it looks like it. Great. And little chimey. Th oh, that. Why are you so mad down there? So the big creature is right below me, so I do not want to fall. Hey, little little guys, don't worry. Little flops. You're gonna be okay. Just stick with Uncle J. Smith. What's the worst that can happen? Oh, I don't know. You guys get eaten by a big creature thing? Yeah, that's about par for the course, though. Okay. Moving on. Step on this. There's that gate right over yonder that is opening up for my self. Once it reached the top, which it just did, I need to. Okay. So, a little bit of an idea of where I'm going. Oh no, got stuck on a wall. Got stuck on a wall, but I made it. Great. 
Okay, the thing is still making angry noises, and that just broke, which isn't good. And I'm stuck up there. Nope, I'm good. Was a little stuck, but, you know, I made it out. Oh, he is so dead. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, little fox. Oh, I just heard you got eaten. Oops. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Okay, so... Here's some more fluffs over here. Hey, guys. What's up? Hmm. Alright, so they're hanging out with me. I need to go this way, I would think so. So anyways, this is kind of... I want to say it's... I said the Amazonian jungle on the podcast because I thought that's where it was, but I'm not sure if that is completely... Oh, hey! That was a sweet bounce. Uh, not... Oh, dang it. I'm not sure exactly where this is, but it is some sort of jungle and you're some sort of tribal individual, so... You know, that's what I was really going for. Okay, so... I think that jump is coming up right there. Okay, great. So, jump over there, and then jump over to here. Great. Now, where to throw a Oh, okay. So I'm gonna get you, and you're gonna go for a little run. What about these little guys? Come over here. You guys can't come over here? Oh, alright. Well, that's no good. Is this anything over here? Maybe? I don't know. I guess I'm just heading backwards now. Which I guess I'm cool with. Is this a thing over here? No, that's fine. Oh god, running into walls. Okay. So, it is kind of easy to get a little lost. Mostly because I'll be able to see things that are beyond walls and they are making noise. Oh, I just threw him right into the belly of the beast. So I can see things beyond walls, and so I'll end up walking into walls and attempt to, you know, go towards where I think the sound is coming from. Then all of a sudden I'll just, you know, smack into something that I can't see. So I'm just looking for any kind of direction on where to go here. Oh god, he just got eaten. Okay, up here, no, okay. Maybe there's something I'm missing. There's a big beast right in front of me. Up there, up near... Oh, okay. Hey, buddy. Yeah, you ate me. You ate me to death. Wait, I'm still alive. Okay, you didn't eat me to death. You ate me to almost death. Alright. So, recuperated. Hmm. I don't necessarily feel that I need to be back here. So, I will give one more college try to find out a direction over here. And if I can't do that, I will see what else is around. Okay, here we go. I did miss something. And I missed the end of the level. Okay, so I backtracked for no reason. I apologize about that. But, regardless, I am able to... Oh! just threw him. Sorry, Flops. Where am I supposed to be going? Okay, that was the direction. Oh, maybe it was supposed to go down here. I'll just do it anyways. Okay, here's this. So I can see it a little bit more. It's a big platform. Okay. Big platform. Wind chimes. Throw little Flops at that. There's a bunch of Floppies running around here. Okay. Hey, guy. What's up? I'll just collect a bunch of them. Oh, I just came from this direction. So you can see which direction you're kind of coming from or going to because you can see your little footprints on the ground, which gives you a decent set of, you know, directions, or sense of directions, I should say, not a set of directions. It's not actually laying it out, it's just, you know, where you've been, Places that you might not want to return to. So, moving. Oh, here we go. Going across this bridge. 
and into weird bat cave. It looks really neat though. I like this. It's calm. It's it's tranquil. But I carry on. Oh. Okay. Backing, backtracking, back. Oh god. I'm sorry. I got to do this. Sacrificing my my flops. I'm sorry, flops. I don't want you to die. I need to run away from that. Oh god, he ate one. Okay, not good. Where am I going? I can't see. I can't see. Running away. Going this way. I hope. Running backwards. Here we go. Okay, great. So, here's this big platform that I want this jerk to step upon. Oh my god. He's eating all my dudes. Run, 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 run. Okay. Whew. That was close. As I didn't want to. Uh, I don't want to run into that guy again. Okay. So what's going on here? Mm. I don't know. It's raining, as I can hear and see, which should be good for me. So now I can see a little bit better. Because naturally, when the rain hits on the surface and makes a noise, and that allows me to see. Oh, here's a cave. Alrighty. Outside of the cave. Oh! That's a big creature. Huh. That is a really big creature. Alright, and so that is the end of chapter one and the end of this video. That is going to be it for this series. I mean, there's only one episode, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. That's all that the game really has to offer me so far. But I hope you liked it. I hope you, you know, enjoyed this little playthrough. And I hope you, uh, you know, I encourage you to go check out Team Pixel Pie, send them some love, like their Facebook page, anything like that. And for me, Thank you so much for watching. If you want to reach out to me, you can find me on YouTube, obviously. And But if you want to go outside of YouTube, I'm always on Twitter, and it's jsmith underscore OTI. So thank you guys for watching yet again. You guys are the best people in the world, but for now, I'll see you later. Bye.